Most people are not going to have an orchard this extensive, but there are some things we want to look at this tree to show you what you may want to do to get your orchard at home. Let's start at the top. Notice the first thing is we support these trees. Most trees on dwarfing rootstocks need some type of support. You can use a stake or here we used a piece of conduit. The other thing to look at, look, it's not very vigorous up here. We've been able to train this so it's nice and open and you can see right through it. And so the fruit will be well exposed to the sun, nice and colored, and they'll also have a lot of air circulation so you have less problems with disease and insects. So we go down the tree, let's look at our first set of scaffolds, our bottom branches down here. The first thing you ought to notice is that how horizontal they are. If you look at them, you see they come out very flat angles. The reason for that is if you think about it, how a tree grows, not only grows in height, but also the diameter grows. And if we had these branches were very narrow or upright, the two branches would come together and form what we call bark inclusion, which would make a very weak branch. And once we had fruit on that, it may break it out. So we try to start these trees out with a long, flat branch. And finally, we look at the bottom here, and you'll see that there is a covering around there. And that's there, that's basically uh, paper that we put down there for to prevent any mice or uh, uh, rabbit damage girdling the tree. So we keep that around there permanently so that prevents the help set. But how did this tree get started? I think we need to go back and take a look at what we do after we plant the tree. This tree was planted about two months ago, and now we want to see how we can make this tree look like that other tree we just saw. And the first thing we need to do is start to train the branches. And it's a very simple way to do that is we use clothespins. And we place these clothespins on the branches just above the shoot so that we can force that shoot to grow out horizontal. And so we'll come in here where we see these new shoots when they're about four to six inches long, and we place that clothespin to force that branch out. And so we'll go down through the tree finding three to four branches or three to four shoots that we want to force and use. And so we'll come in there and put the clothespins. And finally, we'll put the last one in the top. Sometimes you purchase a tree that already has branches. You still need to spread the limbs though. And so for that, we use little slats that we've cut notches in the end to. And we come in and we place those against the trunk and spread down the branch. And let me show you how I do this. We come down here and place it on the branch and we find a convenient spot on the main stem that will stay there and we force that limb out more horizontal. So we place the one, and now we've got this other main branch and we'll come over here and we'll do the same thing. There we've spread our tree and now it's ready for its first growing season. Suppose you have a tree though that limbs are too big for clothespins but not big enough to use for a spreader. In that case we use another technique and that's the use of weights. Here we have a washer and here we have a piece of cement both attached to clothespins. And what we'll do is to get those horizontal branches, we'll come in here and we'll hang that washer or cement piece out on the end of the branch so that it forces the limb to go down more horizontal. Let me show you one last little trick on how to get horizontal branches on young apple trees. And that's the use of elastics or rubber bands. And I'll show you how it's done here real quickly. You go down to the base of the trunk, you slip the rubber band through, you bring it up to the branch, wrap it around the branch, and stick our clothespins again. And now you have a nice horizontal branch ready to start off growing this year. Growing fruit trees in your backyard can be a lot of fun, and I hope these tips that I've given you will get your trees off to a good start. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.